Good afternoon, everyone. It's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams, and welcome to my channel. I can't believe it's Thursday and afternoon already. Oh, my goodness. The only reason I know it's Thursday is because last night I remembered it was garbage night. So that always happens Wednesday night. So, yeah, it's Thursday already and so close to Christmas. I'm going to say I'm super missing my kids. I'm super missing my family this year. I miss them all the time, but Charlotte's four and she's just getting so big and so fun. And Brooks is one and he knows me already, you know, through the Zoom and through me being having been there for almost three months, you know, in the summertime. And so I'm missing them a lot. And Charlotte tells me, I want to come live with you, Grandma. I want to live with you, Grandma. Do you know what that does to my heart? She says she wants to come and craft with me. And, oh, my heart's smiling, smiling big. So, yeah, I miss them. Christmas was always huge when, you know, when my kids were growing up. It was this event that lasted for weeks. The anticipation and the preparation for it started already in beginning of November and it was magical and Christmas Eve was magic the whole property and house was lit with candles and fire and oh it was it was beautiful I could keep the door open because of the heat that the candles threw off and one year I burned just about started my curtains on fire and another year I burned this beautiful, beautiful lace tablecloth that I paid so much for. I burned a lot of things. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that something didn't burn for Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm missing. I'm missing my kids. This year, it's a little harder than it has been. But I'm hoping that by March, I can already prepare to head to Canada and isolate. And who knows what's going to be happening by that time. Maybe this will all have changed and I will just be so grateful. Anyway, um, I did a little bit of stuff, not very much stuff, but I have stuff here that I want to show you um, because I had a day to play and then I needed to make a few packages of, you know, certain things. So then I just made extra so i'm just going to pop up my information oops oops there's there's threads everywhere i am sheila genrich and i'm scoghill for gmail.com and my facebook group is boho daydreams so i'm going to link all of that in the description box for you um so what i have okay first of all i did put together um more strands of beads and i do this um when I have a bit of downtime because picking through the box to make sure that there's, you know, a good variety in each strand, it takes a little bit of time. So I've got some of those ready. I can't believe how quickly I go through my beads. Oh my goodness. I also prepared another um, of this. These are beautiful. This is like an ice collection and they're all the same. And they are so pretty. When I hang them in the light, they just sparkle. They're um, uh, kind of a sky blue with pink um, bumps on them. It's a pink, a really pale pink glass. And then there's pearls and the gold and whatnot. They're really pretty. I only have one of those. Then, and this is because I made the tutorial because these take me a long time. So I made a set of these and they are so pretty. Let me just pop one up here. They're so pretty and they're all going to have the, the soft um, bow on them. But look how pretty they are. They're made with the silk fibers and um, these take me so long. That's why I don't do them very often. Because I think 
these took me all night and this morning to accomplish seven of them but they are just stunning look at how pretty that is and you can change the bow up on them if you want you can put it on the top or the bottom i just put it on one end that i thought looked more like the top i think this is my favorite i love that i didn't realize that i was going to throw that piece away and then i just wrapped it up it's something that i was grabbing my threads from and the threads on this let's see there we go made this so these <laughs> these are from the same fabric this is what was left over though so i have one set of these if anybody wants to claim them whoops just gonna pop them up there again so you can take a good look um and this is a really beautiful christmas red it is not orange at all all right so that's that um then i have i have the victorian rose and i have one velvet set that has the um, lace with it it's the velvet and the lace and then there's just one lace package um and they're beautiful they're both the same but the laces in here are just are they're they're beautiful they're all hand dyed and i tied it a little bit differently so the piece of cotton that you generally ties them is now inside the package there's a lot of um vintage uh eyelets because i have a lot of that right now so then that's what i add and then this one's vintage and this one was just in my collection so it could be maybe 10 years old so i i don't know where it came from and these i love this one this one always dies so pretty whoops right here this one always dies so pretty when um i when i use it i think i'm out of that one to be honest and this one doesn't die well in this pink but it sure does in the next package it's a piece of that more eyelets there's one like this and then on the other side there is this a piece of this it's the full length of the lace so there's a lot of pink cotton that you can use and it's so soft and then there is some laces and a piece of fabric um let's see did i miss anything i think i did oh yeah this piece right here there's that beautiful piece too and then there's the piece of vintage trim and there is a piece of lace that i tied it with and then the organza ribbon and this um, rose there's a rosette but I added to these packages um, I made some stick pins and it's kind of hard to focus it and it's pearls with the pink that's that's a pink um, bead with a crystal and then it's got the clutch on the bottom so you have to be careful be careful so you don't poke yourself when you're opening up this package but it's held together like that there i have to put it back together off camera because i poke myself every time all right so there's the pink set and then i have the iced silver or the iced gray it's so so pretty and it has the silk tie the seam binding like all my kits do they're all they're always the same it has the silk velvet ribbon and the inch and the half inch there's a piece of sequin trim and then there is the fat eighth of velvet and then you also have the two little dangles so there's two full sets of that and then there's two sets that have um have the lace so let's see i want to open one of these up let me see which one they're basically all the same 
So let's see, we're going to open this one up. Looks like this. It also has its pin and the the um, rosette. It's got the organza tie and it's all dyed. The, the pink one is the lightest pink and this one here is the lightest gray. So it's held together with that and then this is the piece of lace that holds it together. And then you've got a piece of the vintage trim. Um, there's a lot of the same laces in this, but they just look very different. I love this. Um, you could hang dangles off of this and make it one of those dangle edgings. It's an Italian upholstery um, gimp, um, but I found it uh, and it dyes pretty good. <laughs> And then you have all the little laces, but this is a weirdo package, okay? I've got to say that because when I dyed it, some of it came out icy, icy lavender and the rest of it came out an icy gray. And you can kind of see it, right? So it all went into the same pot. It all had a little bit different of an idea. So these ones here are a little bit icy. And see, look at these two. They're the exact same lace came out of the exact same pot. I don't know what happened. Maybe I left that one a little bit longer. I don't know. Anyway, so it's a little bit of a weirdo. So you get a little bit of a combination here with this package. Oh, yeah, I love this one. Oops, I like this one too. I only had enough for the... Um, the gray package and this is the lace that it dyed really well in the in the gray love it it's a piece of this and this again came out in the icy lavender these are all icy lavender this one is kind of a combination that one's just a light gray and then you've got the textiles which of course they came out uh, kind of icy and then the really fine lace came out very gray. I'm just going to pop over and show you the other side because there's kind of pieces that don't show up on when I do it this way. Let's see. There's this. There's this piece. And this piece took on the purple. <laughs> Go figure. Um, let's see. And this took on, in one package, this takes on a bit of a purple. And in this package, it just takes on the gray. So it's a, it's a bit of a weirdo, but isn't that beautiful? This is a vintage damask linen. And it probably is from the 60s, but oh my goodness, did it die up gorgeous. It dies up. I'm, I'll be sad when it's all gone because it dies beautifully on both sides. You can just use either or. And then again, the pin on the, on the front is, um, it's just gorgeous, a gorgeous uh, stick pin. I wanted to make some stick pins and offer them. I just didn't have enough time. I need to go to the city today yet um, and kind of finish up some Christmas shopping stuff. So if there's anything here that you would like more information on or um, just simply want, please connect with me, Sheila Genrich, scoghill4 at gmail.com. Facebook group is Boho Daydreams and please feel free to join us there. Um, it's a group of crafters who love art. If you paint, if you crochet, if you quilt, if you make candles or journals in every style, well, there are a few guidelines on that, but that's in the rules. Um, it's all welcome. We love to see your pets. We love to see, we love to see it all. Anyway, I hope everyone has an amazing day. I hope that your weekend goes smooth. I'll probably, I'll probably be talking to you yet before the weekend. Um, or I guess maybe not before the weekend, but probably on the weekend. Because I have uh, an update on the journal that I'm working on. I'm hoping. Anyway, have a good, good, good afternoon. Bye-bye.